common occasion is if uh, somebody's had trouble getting pregnant and we've treated her and she's pregnant, she comes in for her first obstetrical visit, you know, there's a great excitement usually when that happens and everybody's very happy, everybody's uh, very excited and so on. Legs up here, but I get lots of extra. Yeah. I feel safe and confident that Dr. Rector will deliver my baby safely. I think the most exciting time was when I came to see him about eight months ago, finding out I was pregnant because it was the start of our family. I was trained in South Africa and uh, uh, I was fortunate in being trained at a very standing department and uh, worked in Canada for a few years and British Columbia and then in the US for about seven years. During my pregnancy I was always excited to come and see Dr. Richter because we all, always had the ultrasound. It was very exciting to see the progress of the baby. I was really impressed by the technology. It's not something that I'd seen before. Uh, Dr. Richter's newest edition of his ultrasound machine is absolutely amazing. Um, it's compact and it has a beautiful picture and um, um, 3D, which we have many patients asking for 3D pictures. Uh, we have quite a few patients who've had a lot of issues and they've had it's taken them a long time to get pregnant and it's it's just, it's heartwarming, it's just so, so nice, it's really, that makes you want to get up in the morning and come to work, it's lovely. It's a baby! <laughs> okay, look at the camera, I'm on a baby, everyone protect their baby. amazing care here. It's uh, it's very comforting knowing that I can call Dr. Richter at any time. I have his cell number, I can call him and I know that when I go into labor he's the one who's going to be there and that's really comforting to know that. I started to go to Dr. Richter four years ago when I was pregnant with Alina and uh, he has delivered both my girls and we are continuing to see him now. I am pregnant with our third child. I'm 29 weeks pregnant due mid of August. I haven't really kept count of when the 3000s uh, one happened. Uh, it's a little while ago. The, the first baby was uh, in October of this year, it'll be 30 years ago. We are a tiny little island in the middle of the Caribbean and it can be a little bit overwhelming the thought of relocating but we've definitely got all the medical facilities that we need and uh, an array of fantastic specialists on the island. Yeah, I was a patient of Dr. Richter's and I was uh, uh, pregnant with twins. I was induced and uh, first baby came zipping out and everything was fantastic. Dr. Richter was there, everything was great. Unfortunately, um, second baby ran into some complications. And within an instant, he had to stop contractions and I had to go for an emergency C-section. Both my babies came out lovely, healthy, happy, fantastic. So I'm living proof that uh, he works well under pressure. <laughs> When I did come to give birth, it was reassuring to know that I was with Dr. Richter because you now I thought that I was just extremely big pregnant person, but I did have a nine pound, five ounce baby. I think what, what springs to mind is not so much, it wasn't so much his level of care, it was his compassion. It was a very sad um, situation the patient had lost her baby, she was 27 weeks pregnant and she came in and the baby had, had died in the womb and it's just his compassion with that woman, her family, that just to me just really summed him up as a fantastic doctor. The terminology I'd use might sound a little weird but I'd, I'd think uh, goodness, you know, I'd think I'd, I'd, I'd like it if somebody walked out of the office and or after a uh, 
treatment and say, well, they were really good to me in that sense. Uh, I think that's what I would like to portray. The doctor was good to me, the staff were good to me. They, did, they not only did a good job, but they were decent to me. They treated me like a human. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, that doesn't always happen. So I think that's, that's, that's what I think it should be. <laughs> Personally, as a nurse, I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into moving to the Cayman Islands, and I was quite concerned, and I've had three babies here. Um, Dr. Richter is wonderful, and the midwives at Georgetown Hospital are fantastic. Uh, it's better care. We've had, I've had friends move back to Canada who's had babies here, and now I've had babies back in Canada, and they actually wish they could come back here. I love my job. I wouldn't do it. Couldn't have been in it for 30 years. Couldn't have stayed in the clinic for four years if I didn't enjoy it. I love what I do, I love the patients. We've got very good boss. Yeah, there we go. Don't tell Alina that we saw the baby today. I don't know the sex of the baby, just so you guys know. It's pretty exciting when you go in there and you know you're going to have an ultrasound and you're going to see your baby and you're going to see the baby's heart beating and it's just a, a nice confirmation to know that um, the baby's doing okay. We've also over the years started doing uh, a lot more office-based uh, surgery and uh, office-based procedures. Those include uh, things like treatment for abnormal pap smears, they include uh, hysteroscopy which is a slender little scope that we look inside the cavity of the uterus in cases of abnormal bleeding and we can also do uh, female sterilization that way with a technique called Esure which is uh, you know, fairly advanced and something that a lot of people won't even see in a doctor's office probably in the US and you know people probably don't expect to see that uh, that level of technology here on the island. During the pregnancy there were times when I thought you know the baby had stopped moving and um, the team at Dr. Richter's clinic are always very hands-on and they'd have you come in just to reassure you and take the test to make sure that everything was all right with the pregnancy. I think the level of care has got to be high, I think, especially in this climate of um, the insurance and various things. People expect a very high standard of care and I think, honestly, in this clinic they definitely receive it. Um, it's fantastic being able to come here and, and see a specialist every time I need to see a doctor. Um, a lot of my friends, especially South Africans, come and see Dr. Richter. We are really comfortable with them. I would highly recommend the medical facilities in Cayman. Um, I highly recommend Dr. Richter to all of my colleagues and people coming down here. I think if people were thinking of coming here and the fact that they're not sure about the doctors and the, the standards, from personal point of view from this clinic, our doctor, all I can say is our doctor really keeps himself up to date. Every doctor in Cayman has to, every nurse has to. We have to do more training than what we ever did in the UK. We have to do 20 hours of training every year, proven training with, with certificates, which you do not do in the UK. So the standard is definitely higher. Um, and because I think the it's more personal because you will always see your consultant in the United Kingdom and I'm sure it's the same in the US, you do not see your consultant on a daily basis when you come for a visit. Here you will always see your consultant, which makes a huge difference to the standard of care. Oh.